thank you guys for joining me today in part three of our desert drives heading up to globe miami not miami florida but miami arizona if you would seen the last two episodes you'll know we came out through apache junction down highway 60 headed out to superior drove around downtown superior checked out some of the ghost town field although it's not a ghost town it feels like one and now we're driving through some of the most stark and contrasting landscape yet climbing our elevation now is probably over 3,000 feet and uh, yeah we're in a two-lane road so definitely some changes we're seeing and I don't know if you guys can see the background but we are in the mountains Hey, if you haven't had an opportunity yet to subscribe to Dewey's World, please do. You are making these videos possible, and I gotta tell you, um, they're a lot of fun to make. So please subscribe. Oh, and if you click the like button, more people will watch it. And if you click the bell, you will stay up to date on the latest videos from Dewey's World. Check this tunnel out. This is something else, huh? Wow. This landscape looks like it's could be in a Star Wars movie. definitely changed the landscape. It's gorgeous. And it's so different from where we started. Uh, Alright, we're entering Gila County and our elevation right now, as I, I was thinking it would be, it's 4,600 feet and the temperature is 46 degrees outside. So you can definitely see how this would get cold enough to get snow at certain times. Yes, there's the big mine. Wow. Well, if you Google Globe Miami, you're, or even look at it from Google Earth, you're going to see the mine here. It is uh, it's huge. It's almost so big that you can't quite get perspective. It carves right into the side of the mountain. Wow. So it's construction, as usual, on any mountain road, right? But it looks like they're rebuilding or building, I should say, part of the bridge here. Pinto Creek. You've seen this landscape before. If you're from Arizona, what's it remind you of? Because for me, it definitely reminds me of that eastern San Diego County, and now it's even starting to look a little bit like northern Arizona when you're heading up towards Vegas. Hey, I should mention, if you want to follow me on Facebook, I actually we've got a Facebook page started up, and it is Dewey at Dewey's World. I'm also on Instagram at Dewey's World, and Twitter, my handle is World of Dewey, which I know Dewey's World was taken. So I went with World of Dewey. You know, kind of means the same thing. Check it out. All right, we are in Miami, Arizona. Elevation 3411, founded in 1900.
was interesting. I think the downtown area of Miami is definitely filled with antique shops and, you know, some other, like, low overhead businesses, as are a lot of small towns, uh, you know, around the United States and so forth. So this is, uh, it's a challenge operating in these small towns. But I think it was very cool to just feel and see the history of it all. I'm uh, excited to explore more down the line. I think this town probably has a lot more history to it than meets the eye. Florida, Washington, Oregon, Utah, South Dakota just passed. Like, so many folks. Leave in the comments below, if you're somebody who takes trips out to this part of the country and you find getting away from, I imagine, the Midwest or up north in February is the thing to do leave a comment below let me know your favorite destination we're uh, looking at places to go and check out as we explore this part of Arizona we're gonna call this the desert drives but now we're in the mountains so I don't know maybe we'll call it small town Arizona drives either way leave me leave a comment below if you think you know what the title should be I'm curious turn left to stay on North Broad Street historic downtown blue established 1876 Continue on North Broad Street for a half mile.
In 600 feet, turn right onto West Cottonwood Street. Turn right onto West Cottonwood Street, then you will arrive at your destination. I think we're going to keep going straight. Trading post. Noticing the uh, the town runs up the hill away from us here. Adventures. Ghost adventures goes around and they do uh, investigating, you know, haunted areas. Anyway, they were in Globe on one of the episodes and they did the Globe Courthouse. I believe it was Globe. If it was Miami, leave a comment below and let me know. But I think it was Globe. And I just remember thinking how super interesting how the town itself is built up on a hill. Uh, almost like it just goes up the hill so steep and then you have houses across the ravine that are on top of the hill and then the, the ridge is only as big as the house itself all right let's head down let's see here
downtown globe. Historic, interesting. Definitely need to do some research and come back and check it out at greater length. Thank you to the viewers who wanted us to head in and check out the downtown globe. I appreciate you recommending that from a historic perspective and just from the character of the town. It's great. Um, a lot of fun. Looked like they had some really good restaurants, a couple cafes. So yeah, so thank you guys for coming along. Remember, if you haven't had an opportunity, please subscribe. Take it, you know, take the time out to subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos, click the like button for this one if you liked it, and the bell to stay up to date for the latest from Dewey's World. We're gonna head out to new adventures. Thanks so much for coming along, and as always, thanks so much for watching.